So half double crochet is a little bit taller than single crochet. So here's single and basically we are going to chain up two. So and the reason for it is that we're always going to come down into the stitch and then come back up to a certain height. In order to get to that height though we always have to chain at the start of a row. So whether it's a single crochet of chaining one, a double or half double crochet of chaining two, double crochet of chaining three and treble crochet of chaining four. Okay that's why you see it in the instructions that way. So in half double crochet we're going to chain two. So just yarn over and pull through yarn over, pull through. So that'll be the height of this whole entire line of where you're seeing it right underneath the hook. So to do a, uh, a half double crochet we're gonna go in and we're gonna wrap the hook first then go into a stitch. So on the top of the row you will see that there's two strings. Together they make up a stitch. You always, if you go into only one, so if you go into the one string that's closest to you that is the front loop Okay, if you go into the only the back one that's called the back loop but in stitches you go into both. Okay, so let me review that one more time. We're gonna yarn over and go into the first stitch and through. Yarn over. Okay, so yarn over, pull through and then in half double crochet you pull through all three. Okay, now a lot of baby projects are made with half double crochet. So that's why this stitch is relevant. Allows you to grow the project much taller but without having any gaps in the work. That's really significant. So let's do the next one. So here's your next stitch ready for you. So yarn over, okay. Insert into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So try again. So yarn over into the stitch. Pull through pull through all three. Yarn over into the stitch, pull through, pull through all three. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, pull through all three. Okay, yarn over and you're gonna do that completely down your line. So half double crochet has its purposes. It allows you to grow projects. A lot of um, half double crochet is a lot in a lot of clothing because then you don't have the excessive gaps in clothing that a normal typical double crochet which is probably the most popular stitch of them all. Okay, so just continue to go half double crochet all the way across. And how do you know when you're all the way across? I'll cover that in just a moment. I'm gonna get there. Okay, so how many do we have left? We have three. This back one over here, it's obvious because I'm a trained professional but in most newbie crocheters this one looks like it's missing. So therefore people stop one stitch early and what happens is that they have an afghan that grows up like a diamond because the fact is that they're uh, stopping too early. So you have to always make sure you're gonna go right to the very end. If you have to count your stitches for the first few times going across just to verify, so you see you only have one left, then you have to do that. For me that was one of the hardest parts of crochet is knowing when I was at the end of the line and it should be flat straight up just like the other side is, just like there. 